Mark goes in his first piano lesson here in France. It's a totally different piano method. How's piano, Largo? Good. Yeah? Do you like her? Is she a better teacher than your last one? Yeah. The other teacher used to bribe me. And she just makes you... Is it fun with her? Yeah. Excellent. Wait, wait, we got ready? Kate's first day of vacation and we're going out for a little ride. This is awesome. You see, the French education has their fair share of issues. There's too much homework and they're at school for about eight hours a day, no joke. However, they have vacation like once every six weeks and it's like a week and a half or like a week so today is day one of a week off and i still have to work but the kids are just in heaven day one of school vacation you having fun largo yeah. the best part about school vacation here in the south of france is that it's still warm so it is the middle of october and it's about like 60 degrees. My break. The rollerblades aren't good enough for you, Avalon? Never. Oh. You ready to go? Yeah. It seems like every single time that I turn on this camera, it's because we're going someplace. Today is no exception. Today, we're going to Aix en Provence. And if you don't know how to spell it, it's A I X E N P R O V A N C E. Avalon in the middle, Largo on my lap, okay? Lay <laughs> down. Okay, now hold on a second, I do wanna. <laughs> Just hanging out there? What are you gonna exhibit at the zoo? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Yeah. It's X, A I X, but, with, but you don't hear the A part, it's like X. Aix en Provence. No, Aix. Aix en Provence. Aix, no, how do you say it? Aix en Provence. Uh, what she said. That's where we're at. We're here now. Stop fighting with each other. What? <laughs> Give us a... What happens if they get lost? If they get lost? I don't even know what happens if they get lost. No, no. My father's making sure that we make sure that you know what happens when they get lost. Who's getting lost? I don't know, apparently the kids are. We always get lost. Oh, with the kids? Oh, the kids know what to do when they get lost? Yeah. They say, help, help. Someone save me from my crazy parents. You see, my father is one of those guys who thinks that he is Mr. Map. He knows everywhere to go, how to get there, and the fastest way to get there, even though he's never been there before. So, I love to tease him about directions. Where's the map? Sure you don't want to join him, Jess? <laughs> I do. I was just thinking I should. I'm just worried about missing the 315 uh, trolley. So I'm trying to. St I'm trying to stay focused. Hey guys. What? What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh my gosh! You see that? And this is why we travel here. This is the most <laughs> awesome place I've seen. It, I don't know. It's funny because we say this every time we go somewhere and, and it just, I don't know, this is the best place we've gone so far this weekend. And the weekend just started. <laughs> Emma, what do you think about that? Awesome. That was so cool. We're totally making some of those videos. I'll sit. Why don't you sit right. with the and We're about to go on a little tram ride and uh, check out more of this behind me. Sit with me here? Yes. Oh, 
So they're giving you these little headphones and every different language. And we're just going to hang around the city. We usually like to do these trips because honestly it just gives you this bird's eye view and they know where to go back to. Right? I don't know, we'll see if it's worth the money. The streets are waiting for this tour bus only. It's the host for everyone else. We get to go through and just... So walking around this town, it's hard not to really want to comment on everything that's around here, like the history and the whole nine yards, but this isn't really supposed to be a travel channel. It's supposed to be us hanging out and enjoying ourselves. So I'm not sure where Cezanne hung out, where he actually went to church and the whole nine yards, but this is a really cute town and the ice cream's really good. How's your ice cream, Margo? Churches a lot, but this one you just can't get out of. It costs two fifty euros for what? I can't. Okay. Uh, Saint Chapelle in yeah, Paris. Where's Bia? It's not yeah, very ornate. I like it a lot. Yeah, I like it too. <laughs> <laughs> no fighting, guys. We're in front of a church. We're not fighting. We're having big physical discussions. <laughs> See our kids right there? They hate each other, they love each other, and I don't even know. They're each other's best friends. At this point, they just love each other. They just got ice cream here. <laughs> this is a ballet store with purses and... You want to do ballet, Largo? Yeah, I was nine. It smells like pot here. What? It does smell like pot here. Yeah. Maybe someone up there, you think? I don't know, maybe they're trying on ballet slippers and getting high. Look at that, they even have your drink. You gonna have that, Poppy? You gonna have that? No, I don't know what it is. It's a, it's a, it's a drink. You gonna have that? So that's it, that's what we've done so far in Aix and Provence. Um, I think I got that right, but anyway, we're gonna end the day right here. Thanks for hanging out with us at Aix and Provence. Uh, give, be sure to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe and see you guys next time. Who knows where that'll be. Yeah, so Ready to go, guys? Okay. I am. Yeah, that Pugo cocktail I had. I feel like I could dance on a table. <laughs> Hello there, just you are so cute. Good sunshine. What's his name, finally? Sunshine. <laughs> Welcome to the family, sunshine.